it's clearly a joke. It sounds like some people may actually attempt to storm the base. <laughs> What's up? This is the Crow Man Show. I'm Esther Gold, and this is Crow Man over here. Kaka. This is Luma, and up there we got a fucking chicken. What's your chicken's name, man? I haven't named the chicken yet. Hey, name the chicken, ladies and gentlemen. I got a new chicken. Oh, they're gonna want to see the chicken. I guess. The most likes on a comment in the comment section below. Yes. Will be named. Even if it's like Antifa naming it. That'll be awesome. Oh, the chicken looks so relaxed. I'll do another video where I bring the chicken out. The chicken looks like she's chick she's just she's just chilling. The chicken is definitely observing me and the dog. Chicken's falling Mainly asleep. the dog. No, because they kinda have the same type of vision to as crows. So to get Birds better. A good sight. So, to get a better look at us, they turn their head to the side, so they get a direct, like, eye contact. They have a panoramic view. Mm -hmm. Let me show you this really quick, okay. This, we're gonna just listen, puts it really well, kind of the way I'm looking at it. So, tell us, travelers. This is what rush hour looks like on Groom Lake Road, the main drag into Area 51, as a few employees dash for home and others ride the bus with the blacked out windows. Now imagine a million people with cars, RVs, and tents out here. It would be a madhouse. So we had an event right at the gates. About 50 people showed up, maybe 30 vehicles, on Groom Lake Road, on a dirt road, and we had a minor traffic jam on our hands. We had to regulate traffic and we had to make sure that everybody finds room to park. Now imagine you have a million people show up and try to park. That's not going to work. Five to six hundred hits a day. Uh, right now I'm getting up to three thousand a day. So there's a huge spike. This is the Facebook page that started the Fuhrer. It was always meant as sarcasm and contained several clues to that effect. Its creator never meant to suggest that a million people could invade Area 51 in the belief that the military can't possibly shoot them all. The idea has been right proposed now. multiple times over the years, but this time it caught fire. Because I posted on like June 27th and it was kind of a joke and then it waited for like three days, like 40 people, and then it just completely took off out of nowhere. That's pretty wild. Matty Roberts has declined to be interviewed until now, in part because once his idea sailed past 500,000 signatories, he was concerned he might get a knock at the door. Matty says he got the idea after watching podcaster Joe Rogan interview Area 51 whistleblower Bob Lazar and filmmaker Jeremy Corbell about alleged UFO technology hidden in the Nevada desert. That story story about the secret base has spawned its Joe own Rogan. mythology, along with the world's only state-designated extraterrestrial highway. Joke or not, businesses on both ends of that stretch of the road are now preparing for an invasion of visitors. I hope so. it's insane. Connie West owns what used to be the Rachel Bar and Grill. The name changed to Little Alien after Bob Lazar's story first broke in 1989. Since then, it's sold E.T.-themed burgers, booze, and other merchandise. The inn's ten rooms are booked solid around the September 20th target date, so Connie is clearing 30 acres where visitors can camp and listen to four or more bands that say they're coming. West gets along with her neighbors at the base and doesn't want anyone to cross the line. She has been a little, a little scared, <clears throat> it's just a big bring desert it. We'll, party. we'll do our best. I don't believe that they should be doing this and, and, and breaking the law. I just don't believe in that. No one's going to say they will. Uh, of course, some, somebody's yeah, going to try. At the eastern this. end of the ET highway, behind uh, the 50-foot gort-like robot, an even bigger collection of space-themed merchandise awaits visitors to the Alien Research Center. 
Employee Linda Looney, that's her name, says there's a buzz in the air. The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator of Alien Tequila. He says he checked with Lincoln County Sheriff before he started making plans to accommodate hundreds, maybe yes. thousands of campers and visitors. He'll have bands, food trucks, and speakers. Yes. Harris is yes. happy to take advantage of the business, but is also serious about UFOs and secrecy. So someone keeps asking me, well, what's caused all this? It, it, the cause is the government, because they're so secretive stuff, and people want to know what's going on up there, you know? This is tapped into something. It's tapped into something big. It's tapped into something big. Is that it? That's it. What do you think? I think that the government takes a spot where people do not want to, to civilize, and... They did a bunch of shit, and a bunch of people want to see that shit, and they'll s that that we did. I don't know. Yeah. I agree. My my biggest argument for this is that they built this on taxpayer money, and they didn't tell anybody about it. And even when people first discovered that it was there, they completely denied it, and they denied it for decades, for over a half a century. Area 51 was sitting there in the middle of the desert, built on our taxpayer dollars, and they said, there's no base there, no one built anything out there, you're tripping, there's nothing there. But of course, you, you get too close, and you know, you, people roll up on you with guns and say, you're trespassing. Maybe even arrest you, maybe even fine you. I mean, they didn't find that one guy, whatever his name was. Yeah, Bob Lazar. Yeah, Bob oh no, Lazar. no, he, no. Bob Lazar worked there. Well, he snuck in though, right? No, there was um, there was there was that one guy who tried to follow the um, green the steps of the Greenpeace. I guess there's some Greenpeace went in there and they got caught. And then someone tried to get involved. I I think this is the story. I think I got this right. There was a guy who tried to get he he tried legally to get access to the base for years just so that he can retrace the steps of the Greenpeace members and he was denied. But eventually he ended up sneaking in all on his own, retraced their snips, and snuck out and never got caught. Didn't find anything, uh, didn't any, any aliens, but he did find apparently a lot of really weird, crazy, disturbing things that you should look into. Hmm. True. It's true! Well, what are we waiting for? Uh, September 20th. So, we're going, we're camping, this is all totally legal and we have no plan on doing anything illegal, but I've, I don't want to be a, like a freaking, you know, broken record on saying that. We have no plan on storming the base, we never had planned on storming the base, and uh, we certainly didn't plan on uh, a million people going. Okay. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. I got two things right here to open up. Uh, if we're going to change the subject, is there anything else we should talk about? I um, was going to say that... I uh, was going to say that... Um, Speak up. <laughs> eat your vegetables, kids. Eat your vegetables, kids. Yeah, just eat your vegetables. That's no one's gonna do. even hear you. Eat hear you. your vegetables and shut the fuck up. <laughs> so we're doing this. I'm doing it, man. We're we're doing it. Too bad Luma's not gonna be there. You've already made that decision. Cause I'm bringing the chicken. Chicken friend. Yeah, but we're gonna hop box the car with the chicken. You're gonna kill the chicken. We're not killing the chicken. We're gonna call the well, chicken, it was chicken gonna be friend dinner for now. Chicken friend until we get a real name for the chicken. Until we decide what recipe we're gonna use to cook it. <laughs> Cooking the chicken. I'm hoping this chicken gives me some eggs one of these mornings. I hope I get a nice drumstick out of him. <laughs> there was two things, two things I could get from this chicken when I saw it, and it's like, chicken one time or eggs. For a while, for a good amount of time, and I love eggs, and I'm not a big fan of chicken. <laughs> eggs. Keep the chicken. 
I can't believe. No, truth is, this this chicken was living in our bushes for over a week, like like too long, and with rats and shit. And I'm surprised that this you know this, this chicken was surviving in the bushes with with rats and and you know the kids were feeding it and I was bringing it water and whatnot. But yeah, um, if anything, if it was laying any eggs, we was feeding the rats. That's for sure. And I did know I had noticed the rats around here have been getting more uh, prevalent and really coming out and even getting a little bit less afraid of people. Fucking rats. Anyways. That chicken, though. Yeah, that chicken. Chicken's oh, coming with us. Oh. I don't know why he doesn't want to bring Luma, because we're going camping. It's just a big camp out. No one's going to storm Area 51, and anybody who does try to storm Area 51, it's just going to... You know, they're just going to get arrested. And they might even get shot with rubber bullets, and if the Air Force decides that they're going to do something a little more lethal, they're going to get blown to pieces. <laughs> Shot with a laser alien gunning and melted on the spot. Vaporized, turned to ashes. Yes. And I also predict, this is what I predict. Not only were we not going to storm Area 51, no one's going to do that. This is, and that this is going to be a big, huge desert camp out. It's going to be fucking fun as hell. Party in the Mojave. We're going to do this every year on September 20th. It's going to be a big annual desert party in the Mojave Desert on the edge of Area 51. What do you think? And does that sound like a good idea to you or not? Uh, that sounds like a great idea. This is fucking awesome. Sounds, sounds splendid. Let's, let's fucking do it. I'll be there. It's a, it's a great idea though because I just I love the I love the southwestern United States. It's so freaking awesome. You know, if you're living in the Valley of California, like especially Bakersfield, and you're have to deal with heat like that, it, you might as well be living in the desert. You might as well be. I mean, what's better about the desert than being? <laughs> It looks appropriate for the temperature you're having. You have to withstand. Yes. Bakersfield gets pretty freaking hot. Fresno too. Sacramento. The valley just gets freaking hot. You know what else is hot? What? Me. Crickets. Bam. He's nuts. <laughs> Anyways, I got if drugs. We'll probably be able to talk to the aliens. Like, like at least ten feet away from the fence. Ten feet away from the fence. Yes. I wonder if there's a way we can like make a separate road, a second road next to the road, the, the original road, so that we have like a going in, coming out road. I mean, there's plenty of space out there. There's don't get me wrong. I mean, I mean come on. There, I know there's I know there's enough room out there to make a second road. We can just do that. Just make another road on the side of it, like four, five, six feet away from the original road. Just that takes a lot of work, though. There's nothing there. I mean, just take a four by four truck and start driving, running everything over, and you know, let let some other cars behind it follow. You know, I take my car out there all the time. I know what it's like. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways, anything else you want to add to this before we open up these things? Um, open up those things. Friday morning. You can read that if you want. Dear Stephen, <clears throat> decisions made by President of the United States impact countless lives across our nation and throughout the world. From the moment my husband, Donald, <laughs> placed his hand on the Bible and took the oath of office kids, man. <laughs> to serve as America's 45th president, he has worked non-stop to deliver on his promise to make America great again. Well, <laughs> In confronting and resolving the issues facing our nation, Donald has proven to be a true leader. In vision of a better, stronger, safer America, 
is resonating with the people as our nation's economy grows, new jobs are created, unnecessary government regulations are eliminated, and our country's military is being rebuilt, and America's position is the world is being restored. <laughs> Having it's already true. accomplished so much, Donald is determined to continue his work to make America great again. again. Yet, this is proving to be monumental job as the mainstream media, obstructionist Democrats, and left-leaning special interest groups pursue the strategy of description and misinformation in their all-out effort to defeat my husband and all our Republican House and Senate candidates in the 2020 elections. Yeah, you sound, sound like the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> the only way we are going to be able to stand up to their onslaught of destructive attacks and pave the way for Donald's re-election is with a strong, well-funded Republican National Committee are saying the one political committee that can provide substantial direct financial support to my husband's campaign. <laughs> that is why no I like am asking you to join me today in setting the, the stage for Donald's re-election as America's 45th president by matching my enclosed $45 check. Stephen, if you can send contribution of $90 or even $135, to double or triple the impact of your investment in our offices, or $250, $550, dollars $1,000, $5,000, or more, I urge you to do so. Even contributors of $15, $25, or whatever you can send today will help reinforce the RNC's national effort to build the, the vital war chest needed to make sure Donald is re-elected. Amen. Next page, please. 310 <laughs> First Street, S.E. Washington, D.C. 20,003-star-www.top.com Okay. The end. Oh, and here's a check. The check says Melania Trump. Pay to the order of Stephen forty-five dollars and there's zero to a hundred cents. I'm dragging this joke on. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Any other letters I can read? Buddy? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what about this one right here? The other one. Oh! Oh, okay. There's, oh, the other side? Do you read the other side? <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Here's the other side. Give me, give me. I got it. There's nothing there. It's just. <laughs> what is this? Oh, wow. It's, it's a checkbox with a. Uh, with the yes. Oh, here it is, my man. Please continue. <clears throat> Page two. <laughs> to Stephen Powell's. The contrib... <clears throat> Just go, forget it. The contribution... The contribution you sent today will help the RNC set the record straight against... The mainstream media's distortions about Donald and our party. 
while promoting the positive and workable proposals he is putting forth to keep America on strong pro prosperous course. Ugh, it's getting tired. Oh. That was my beer. Carl! It was your beer. <coughs> it was empty. Okay. I went and got food. Steven! I know you realize how much is at stake in the 2020 presidential election. We simply cannot let the Democrats win the White House and set the states for them to capture total control of our government so they can attack social socialist programs. They're Make sure they can understand you. So they can enact their socialist programs. <laughs> Their radical agenda would reverse everything Donald has accomplished and would once again put our nation on a ruinous course to prevent the trap <clears throat> to prevent that travesty from becoming a reality a reality. The RSC was build a state of the art political machine. Unsurpassed in American politics. With your help today, the RNC will be there with extensive strategic and financial support <laughs> to make sure that the President Trump and all our Republican candidates can withstand the non stop brutal assaults they will face from Democrats. The mainstream media, ultra-liberal socialist interest groups, and other radical factions! Serving our nation's first lady has been very inspiring for me personally. I, I am don't know what accent he's going at for now. are humbled to all I can for America. All I can Oh, <coughs> 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 I can stand for a this. <coughs> You're not dead and you're not dreaming. And today I am proud <coughs> to, to do all I can to help my husband and our party win in 2020. Everything you and I believe in regarding the future of America is on the line. In the upcoming elections, it is going to be a clot of costly competitive battle every step of the way. It is a battle we must win together. We love you, Melania. I look forward to telling Donald that you are standing with us as he moves forward in his commitment to make America great again. Please let me hear from you soon. Sincerely, Melania Trump. P.S. Stephen. I know it will mean so much to Donald to know that friends like you are standing with him in his efforts to make America great again. Please let him know you are 100% behind him by matching by check for Forty-five dollars to ensure Donald is re-elected our nation's forty-fifth president, and that we elect Trump majorities to the House and Senate. Any amount you send, he found something like Dr. Roxo. It is fifteen dollars or twenty-five dollars or even fifty. Dollars, ninety dollars, a hundred thirty five dollars, two hundred fifty dollars, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, a mile. It's crucial. <laughs> Help the RNC take on and win against all powerful Democrats.
just so you know, when I have these dream catchers <laughs> ready to sell, 10% of my profit will go to the Trump campaign or a Native American tribe of your choice. North America only. Sorry. <laughs> so, eh. Uh, got anything else I can read? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's not the end of the video, but the end of this reading. <laughs> Lastly, I got this package. Last package. Looks like a book I'm going to have to read. I'm definitely a lot softer than a book. So, no I found out that I'm Celtic, and I'm pretty psyched about that. Super psyched. So psyched that I, I found out, after finding out my last name was Welsh, Mind. Go for it. Wait, wait, wait. If you open that one, then I'm not... Because one of these is for my dad. Because he is where I get my Celtic blood from. 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 Wait, Go what, open what does that. It, this one or that one? Whichever one. Why can't you open the other one? They're both the same. Oh. Well. See one corner, just give me a piece of it, and I'll stretch it over here. Right here. Yeah. It's upside down. This, huh? Sure. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Welsh flag. The Celtic flag of Wales. Yeah, man. Look at this. Red That's pretty thing. badass, dude. The the fucking dragon? Yeah, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's a, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a, what is this, And the green, this is my favorite colors right here. This is like a Green, dragon. red, and white. Yeah, it looks pretty tight. <laughs> We're gonna kick some ass with this flag. <clears throat> yes. Apparently my Polish ancestors go back pretty far, and I'm mostly Welsh. So you know, I'm gonna actually, I'm, yeah, um... I'm gonna. I'm still gonna keep the Polish flag up, but somewhere else. But this is gonna go up where the Polish flag is. I got an idea. We should have. Can you do that? See. Okay. Uh, um. Give me a second. But see where this thing is. We should. I forgot to take that down. I was supposed to come down. We should probably. <laughs> Oop, my bad. Didn't mean to remind you. We should probably hang in the rest of the flags that we that are like country flags other than America we hang right here together all together okay except for this one because this is my ancestry this one's going up where the Polish flag is going yep. love you Poland oh. I do my name still comes from Poland this. Or, no, the other way around. This one first, over there. This one over there. You just put it up. Yeah. No, it, that's backwards. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh. It has to be this one. That one over there, and this one over here. There you go. I think we're done with the video, actually. We should probably just end it. All right, peace out, guys. Adios, amigos. So that's a video, and we will see you out there in the desert. Arrivederci. Banzai. To, to, Some, uh, to Mojave Desert, to Area 51, to the Southwest United yeah, States. Yeah, to America. To the storm to that the isn't going to happen. To the west side. To my balls. To the sweat that some, don't know. Bye. <laughs>